So, uh, hello Facebook Live. I am Alex. I am here to do some magic for you. Um, we have a table of things uh, there, as you can see, uh, that we're going to be doing some magic with. Um, and we also have a Diana here. Uh, she's going to be helping with magic. She's going to be mostly behind the camera, in fact, I think entirely behind the camera for this one. Uh, and she's going to be filming me uh, doing magic. So, uh, we're going to need two things that we can draw on some cards, or write on some cards, uh, uh, that Diana's going to draw on the cards uh, for me. So, the first one we're going to need, uh, I don't know, a picture or a word for the first card thing that we're going to do. And the second thing, we're going to need another different picture or word uh, for the second card thing that we do. And Emily has said, hello, hello Emily, how are you? Hopefully you're good. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn the camera around now that we've got a few people watching and I'm going to get on with some magic. Uh, feel free to join in with the comments if you want to. This is an interactive show, which means if you comment, I will hopefully uh, see it in time and be able to talk to you about it. So, we're going to start off with this, Diana. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get in a little bit closer if you want to. This is a stick. Would you like to examine the stick? Sure. Uh, I think the people at home are happy that you'd like to examine it because people don't trust me. I'm a magician for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Right, let's, uh, let's see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lines on the stick. And if, you draw, if you're um, joining along at home, you can feel free to comment uh, along with what Diana's answers are. We'll hopefully see them uh, in enough time. So, Diana, mm -hmm. how many lines are on the stick? Three. Very good. Uh, if I turn it over and put some lines on this side, how many lines are on the stick? Six. Perfect. You can do maths. Um, I'm going to put that just back there. We don't need it. So we now have three lines on this side, three lines on this side. So that is six. Did you expect that you'd be doing some maths here today? No. No, you didn't. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Diana, if I take one away from six, how many are left? Five. Good. Unless I decide to cheat. In which case, there'd be two on here and two on here. Okay, that's how this... Works. Okay, I'll show you again. <laughs> if I take one away from here, how many lines are left? Four. Four. I've just... Uh, did, uh, one. Well, well, you just saw there was two on the other side, so there should be three left. Oh, right? three left, yeah. Unless there's two left, because I'm cheating. You know, I can, I can see you, you, um, you're getting a bit confused by this, Diana. And if you were playing along at home, feel free to comment how many lines you think there are. Uh, in fact, we'll start again, just in case you missed it. We've got three here, we've got three here. That's six lines on the stick in total. So... <laughs> Diana, if I take one line away, how many lines are on the stick? Six. I mean five, sorry. Five. There we go. You'd think that, unless I cheat, in which case there's two. I'll show you again. If I take one away, there's how many left? Three. Unless I, unless I cheat, there's one there. Now, notice it's at the bottom. It's not at the top. You see, if it was at the top, it wouldn't be at the bottom, okay? I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Right, so it's on the bottom. <laughs> it's not on the top, okay? In fact, let's move it to the top. Well... Almost rubbed it out then. Uh, there we go, move it to the top. My hands are getting sweaty, it's quite hard to do this, right? <laughs> uh, we've got one at the top. In fact, actually, let's get rid of it completely. So we're going to get rid of the line completely. There's no line on that side, no line on that side. We have a lineless stick. However, we have a little bit of ink residue on my hand. Diana, can you see the ink residue? No. Can anyone at home see the ink residue? Probably not. No. It's, 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 <laughs> there's not much. In fact, there's only enough residue for one line on that side and one line on that side. Uh, and then you can put it off again and then on and then off and then on and then on. I could do this all day, to be perfectly honest. In fact, if I was left to my own devices, I probably would. Uh, however, I just wipe it clean like this and that is a completely blank stick on both sides. That is uh, my amazing magic stick. We're going to put that in there for now. Um, so, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, comment if you got how many lines were correct. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's still only one comment, apparently, and that's Emily saying hello. So, hello again, Emily. Uh, I've already said it, but it doesn't matter. Um, if you... Uh, we don't have any comments for things to draw on cards. I'd like, ideally, a comment for something to draw on cards. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's here. So, um, you know what? While we're still waiting for comment... Hello. Mark, I got lost on the line. So did I, Mark, to be perfectly honest. So did I. Uh, Mark usually comments something, actually. So what we'll do, uh, we'll say someone, whoever comments first, we need two things, one for one card trick and one for another card trick. Either something Diana can draw or something she can write. Uh, side pedal, have you painted your nails? No, I haven't. <laughs> Diana painted my nails. I'll show you. Uh, she's got... Um, uh, can, you, can you see the nails on the camera? I uh, can't see them. Yeah, yeah I, you I can can't see them. You, you're, you're the one who's having yeah. to get... Yeah. Uh, Diana painted my nails. Um... Uh, she did that one uh, and that one and, and all of those because she was painting her nails the other day and decided that mine were left out. 
a polo mint drawn on the card. So we've got a polo mint for our first card trick. We're going to need a second one. You know, polo mint like a circle. With, yeah. Like a polo, yeah. Just draw polo mint and like okay. you can label it. Polo. I know it doesn't matter. So for our second card trick, we're going to use some cards. These are um, two bits of card that I like to use. Uh, and I'm going to show you something. You see, I am a little bit of a rebel without a cunt. She's a good nail technician, wow. Uh, she And a giraffe, perfect. So we're going to start with a polo mint, we're going to go through a giraffe for the second one. Uh, and she is a good nail technician, you're right. <laughs> yeah, didn't take a long to do that either as well. So I'm going to write some words on this card, okay? In fact, I'm going to come up to the camera so you can Oh, I see. thought you were going to draw instead. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to write the words. So I'm going to write the word uh, uh, inside on that card. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna, can you guess what word I'm going to write on this card? Outside? No, inside, inside. again. Uh, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is uh, put my initials on here as well. So I'm going to put my initials there. Uh, and Deanna, if you'd be so kind, would you draw a polo mint on the inside, on, on the underneath uh, that? Okay. Basically, it's draw a donut and then write, write polo in it. Is that the inside one? Or? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> okay, fantastic. that Fantastic. I have to say, Mark, that was a fantastic idea. What sign is it? You can't call him a giraffe, that's harsh. <laughs> it is a little bit harsh, but... <laughs> right, so, um, we have our inside with our polo mint on it there. We have our inside with our Alex, uh, my initials on it. And um, normally what we do is we put the insides on the inside. Can you see this on the, on the mm -hmm. camera? You might not want to get too close, I'm not good at this, it might, might get caught. <laughs> what I'm actually going to do, Deanna, is I'm going to take the insides, and I'm going to put the insides on the outside. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay, and you know what? To prove how much of a rebel without a cause I am, I'm going to take these insides, I'm going to put them, um, I'm going to staple them together. Okay, okay, I'm going to take these insides, and I'm going to staple them together, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this. Watch. Inside staple to the outside. So, we have insides here on the um, outside. Deanna, mm -hmm. where is the inside? On the outside? No, the inside is on the inside, okay? See, that's, the in that's why it's labelled inside, okay? Look, I'll show you. I'll open it up. Oops. That's slightly torn it a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Uh, there we go. I'll open it up. Mm -hmm. There you can see inside we have our polo mint mm -hmm. and we have our um, initials there, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take these staples out. I'm going to try this again. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Uh, we're going to put the insides on the outside, okay, Deanna? Okay. The inside, we need uh, a pen as well, actually. Will you hold on to the pen for me? Oops. Careful. Uh, we have two cards. I'm going to flip. You can hopefully hear the uh, two cards there. Watch mm -hmm. carefully. I'm going to put them like this in my hands. In fact, I'm going to put them both squarely flat on the table. Uh -huh. Deanna, I want you to wave the pen over the, the cards oh. for me. You don't okay. need to take the lid off just yet. Wave the pen over the cards. Perfect. Stop. And I know you can't see this happening, but watch carefully. If I do this, there's an inside card there. However, on the same card, on the other side... <laughs> there is an inside with an inside. I know it's bizarre, isn't it? Uh, we're going to put that back. Uh, we don't need that anymore. We're going to come back to the other card trick in just a minute. Uh, let's have a look. Love how orderly the fridge is. The fridge is very orderly, isn't it? <laughs> That's also not my doing, I should point out. It will be all inside, uh, in, be all inside out. How confusing. It is confusing. But, but, there's a picture of me and Stevie on that fridge, definitely. Um, I don't think there is, Sorry, You need to send me one. If you send, right, Sorry, if you send me a picture of you and Stevie in the post, I will, I will magnet it to the fridge. And the next Facebook Live I do in two weeks' time, uh, I'll have it sort of centre, centre stage on there for you if you want. So uh, we're done with that. Now we're going to do a few more cool things. Um, I think the first thing we should do is this, uh, we'll do this with the keys and then we'll move on to something a bit more dangerous and then we'll finish off with a card trick because I like card tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have two keys here. Yep. Please examine the keys, show everyone what they are just as they appear to be, a silver key yep. and a copper key, a brass key. Um, Yep. The two keys of different colours. Now, Diana, we're going to play a quick game. Okay. We played a game show last week and you lost all of them. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very similar thing. I'm going to play. I'm going to was a pack of cards, don't worry. It wasn't the table collapsing. I must have a heart attack then. <laughs> uh, non stop kids entertainment. So apparently I'm saying hi to myself. Oh, it's commented by Craig. Hello, Craig. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Right, okay, so we're going to play a game with two keys. Now, Diana, last week I played a game and I cheated and you lost. Uh -huh. uh, this week, as I said, is no different. Uh, I am going to play a game, you're, I'm going to cheat and you're going to lose. Now, before I can cheat, I have to show you what the game actually is. Mm. Okay, I'll show you the game legitimately first. I won't cheat and then I will start cheating, okay? Okay. So the game is very simple. <laughs> I've got a copper key and I've got a silver key. Yep. All you need to do is tell me which key is in this hand and not in the pocket? The silver key. The silver key. Any particular reason you think the silver key? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, you're right. It is the silver key. Uh, and here's the brass key. Now, uh, the reason why I asked you um, why I asked you that is because that was a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I was cheating, if I'd put both or none in there, which, which I could do, uh, that would have been a one in four chance, but it was a 50-50 chance because I said I wasn't cheating and I didn't cheat. It was just a random mm -hmm. key which everyone went in there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you got it right. Mm -hmm. Well done. That's the game. Thank you. Very simple, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we have two keys here. I'm going to do this very, very carefully and slowly for you, okay? Uh -huh. Now to cheat, I have to make it look more fair. Okay. Okay, more fair. So what I'll do is I'll put a key in this hand. Uh, in fact, actually, I'll even show you what key I put in that hand. Okay. Diana, where is the silver key? In that hand. The silver key? Yeah. The shiny one? Yeah. No, that would be the brass one. There's the other ones over here, okay? Look, I'll show you again. <laughs> it's, it's weird, isn't it? Look, we've got silver and brass, silver and brass, silver and brass, okay? Well, I'll, sh I'll show you again, okay? I'll show you again, and I'll do it even more fair. I'll even show you the move, okay? Okay. I'll show you. Remember this. The silver key goes on the left-hand side, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the move looks like this, because that crosses, that changes where the left-hand side is, okay? Okay. So, the silver key goes on the left-hand side. Mm-hmm. Or my left-hand side, anyway. Where's the silver key? On your left-hand side. No, no. Where is if I do this? But where's the silver key? On your left hand side. This is my left hand, so you're saying here still. Yeah. Not over here. Right. Okay. <laughs> that would be the that would be the silver key. That would be. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll explain. Um, you know, what? I'll make it even more fair. Okay. Okay. I'll close both my hands here like this. I'll open one of them. Where is the brass key, Diana? On your left hand. No, that would be the silver key. I said I was cheating. Okay. Uh, the brass key is actually over here in my pocket. What's that? Can you do it in slow motion and with see through hands? I don't think so, sadly. <laughs> no. I'm doing it as slowly as I can. Uh, Mark Whittle says he's blown away. Thank you. Craig says, uh, I'm positive you're cheating. Craig, I am cheating. I said I was going to be cheating. Uh, Mark, thank you for the compliments, actually, Mark. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it as slow as I can and with as hands as see through as I possibly can. But you know what? I'll try and make it more difficult for me and more fair for you. Diana, will you put your hand out flat for me, please? I'm okay. going to put one of these keys in your hand here like that. Oh, and I'm going to do the same for these two keys here. Close your hand around the two keys. Turn oh, it over. Okay. Uh, no, close it. Oh. Turn it over like that. In fact, so I can't get to the key. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I have changed my mind. Uh, will you put your hand out flat again? I'm going to change the keys over, okay? I'm going to change the keys over. I'm going to put these two here. Close your hand around them. Turn your hand over. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, what I'd like to do is just pull the key that's now on top. So there's two keys, there's one that's on the top, there's one that's on the bottom. Yeah. Pull it out a little bit like I've just done there, the one that's on the top. Okay, I'm going to try my best. Perfect. Right. Take that back. Thank you. I'm going to take the key that's on top. Mm -hmm. So I've now got the vast key and I've got one of the silver keys. Mm -hmm. Leaving you with a silver key. I'm going to try and make this vast key and this silver key change places. Would that be cool? Mm -hmm. Right. Watch carefully. Vast key over here, silver key over here. Right, if I've done this, and I have, where's the brass key now? On that hand. Now, that would be the silver key. <laughs> However, uh, I did say I'd make them change places. That's the other silver key. Diana, open your hand. Show everyone what's in your hand. That would be one brass <laughs> key. Turn it over, check the other side, make sure it's not like half silver, half brass or anything mm -hmm. like that. It is just genuinely a brass key. Yep. Yeah. 
Perfect, we're going to put that away. Thank you very much. Let's see what comments we've got. Uh, can you, yeah, we've still not got any new comments, but yeah, that is uh, how that works. So, uh, we're going to do something dangerous, something that, guys, uh, if you are under the age of 18, you should not be doing at home. Uh, Mark says, wow, thank you. Mark, thank you, Mark. That's uh, very much appreciated. Now, guys, I'm going to do something dangerous. We're going to play a game, Diana, with one of these. Do you know what this is? Uh, I forgot the name for it. It's a pen knife. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a knife and it's very dangerous. Now, guys, if you are below the age of 18, you are not allowed to have these. So please do not try this at home. I am a trained idiot, which is why I'm allowed to use this. Uh, Craig says, brilliant. Thank you very much, Craig. Um, now, this blade, this knife is legal for me to have and to carry around because the blade is less than three and a half inches and it doesn't lock. That means that you don't need to push any buttons or move any levers in order to close it. Obviously, it, it's not something you should be carrying around and I don't carry it around for those of you who know. Uh, but guys at home, please do not try this. This is for trained professional idiots like myself only. Now, Diana, all you have to do is tell me where is the knife. It's very simple. Where is the knife? On your hand. No, in it's, your not. It's, it's in my pocket. It jumps a little bit. Okay, I know what. We'll try. We'll try something easier, Diana. What colour is the knife? Black. Black. Are you sure about that, Diana? Do you guys, do you want to play along at home? <laughs> we'll try again, Diana. What colour is the knife? White. No, it's black. Okay, you, you, right, you're clearly not paying that much attention. You no, know, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll try a question, Diana. I've got a black knife here. Obviously, to be doing this, I need to have two knives. This is the black knife. Which colour knife is in my pocket? The white one? No, that's the black one. The white one's in my hand over here. Okay, you, I, you know what? I'll, sh I'll slow it down again for you. I'll show <laughs> you the move, okay? Uh, that's also, we've got more... We've got more comments. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got... Wow, that's brilliant. Thank you. We've got a mate... That's amazing, almost better than Craig's coin magic. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, but I appreciate the compliment. Ryland loves that one. I'm guessing the knives that one is. Um, Nonstop Kids is brilliant, and it was right. I'm glad Ryland likes what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. Right, okay, so uh, we have here uh, two knives. Yep. I'm going to take one knife out. I'm going to take the black knife out. I'll show you the move. There's the black knife in my right hand. This one is black, okay? Mm-hmm. The move is this, I touch my thumbs together, I've not done it yet, the black knife is here. I do the move now, Diana, point to the black knife. Um, I'll give you a hint, that one's the white one, that one's the black one, okay? So we've got white and black and white and black mm -hmm. and white. Now Diana, we'll do this again in your hands, put your hand out nice and flat like that for me please. We're going to try this again, I'm going to put this uh, here like this, in fact we'll turn this around. Close your hand around the two knives. When we turn your hand over, I'm going to take one knife out. I'm going to take the black knife out and put that away in my pocket. Okay. Which knife does that leave in your hand? The white one? No, the white one's in my pocket. You clearly weren't paying attention. Open your hand up, have a look. <laughs> Check the knives, make sure they're, they're, they're both like fully white and fully black. There's not like one half black, one half white or anything yep. like that. That would be cheating. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, we do need to do a big finish. Would you like me to do a big finish with the white knife or the black knife? The white knife? The white knife, okay, we'll take the black one, we'll put that away, we'll do the big finish with the white knife. The white knife, it's a, it's a big finish, it looks like this, you take it, you squeeze, you do this. That doesn't actually do anything, I just quite enjoy doing it. Uh, that is when the, the coin appears. You see, sometimes if, if you're, if you're um, particularly uh, evil, you can use knives for money. Uh, I wouldn't, though, I never use money that's uh, not been used, that, that's not earned, so you do this, you go one, two, three, it disappears. Um, and that is uh, the knife trick. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully you followed along. Hopefully you worked out how it was done or didn't work out how it was done. Uh, if you did, keep it to yourself. If you didn't, uh, tell anyone. I don't really mind, I guess. Um, guys, uh, we're going to do one final thing with a pack of cards and hopefully a card box as well, all things being well. Uh, and Diana, you need to choose a card. So, okay. because you're holding the camera, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run my thumb like this. You're going to say stop. Uh, when you say stop, that's the card we're going to use, okay? okay. Say stop. Stop. There, you sure? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now you stopped me here, you could have stopped me anywhere. Uh, let's see what card you stopped me at. You stopped me at the Four of Clubs. Are you happy with the Four of Clubs? Lots mm -hmm. of white space for you to draw your giraffe on. Uh, as Mark mentioned earlier. Where that is I not going to turn out well. It's going to be interesting to say the least. Where did I put my <laughs> Sharpie? Did I put it in one of my pockets? Did I put it in here? Uh, no, it's here. Oh, right, there. Right, cool. Oh, you have Sharpie last, didn't you? Anyway, right, uh, yeah. take the Sharpie. Uh, take the lid off the sharpie and draw a giraffe on there for me, please. Okay. Perfect. Oh Nonstop kids. Card tricks, yay. 
Mark, I was so lost. Alex is amazing. He must know Harry Potter. I don't know Harry Potter, actually. Um, although I did go to Hogwarts, so I, I must have just missed him. Which is a shame, really, when you think about it. This is not very good. It's well. good. That's good. That's obviously a giraffe. Like, there we go. <laughs> There's some spots. If I put some eyes on them, otherwise the giraffe's not going to be able to see. There we go. And a mouth. Otherwise he's not going to be able to... There we go. Maybe draw him with his tongue sticking out. I don't know. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Need some legs. Yeah. That is... N <laughs> Diana, didn't you go to like university to do art and design or something? Yes. <laughs> right, now the reason I can see what this card is, Diana, is because it doesn't matter what this card is. It's something like, okay, well, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to do a, a card trick, and I'm going to do it completely differently to how any other magician does a card trick. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do, Diana, I'm going to take your card, the, uh, the Four of Clubs, and I'm going to put it just there on the table. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lose it in the, in the pack or anything, Ooh. but be careful. Sorry. I'm not going to lose it in a pack, it's just going to be there on the table and I'm not going to touch it again from this moment on. In fact, I'll even put the box on top of it, okay? Okay. Box is on top of it, I cannot get to your four of clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, it was four of clubs, wasn't it? I should be. Yeah. 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 Now, what, if you went to Hogwarts, I bet you were in Slytherin. I wasn't actually, I was in I was in Hufflepuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, what's, what's, what, 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 that's an amazing tractor. <laughs> That's a brilliant giraffe. Thank you, Mark, for commenting Diana's uh, drawing skills. And Diana, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you touch four cards on the back. Because um, we need four cards. Now, we could use the four cards on the top, but I'm a magician. You probably don't trust me to use the mm -hmm. top four cards. We could use the bottom four cards, but again, I'm a magician. You probably don't trust me to do that. So you're just going to touch four cards on the back as I spread through like this, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, whichever four you want to, you, you're going to need your finger for this row. Okay. I'd go that one, that one yeah. Uh, I'd go close, sort of close together because we're going to need four of them and there's, there's only one. a certain number of cards. Do that you want to one. change your mind on any of those four? Do you want to put any in? Do you, no. to, do you, do you feel like I forced or influenced you to pick those cards in any no. way, shape or form? You mean you could have gone a little bit lower, we had quite a few cards left. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with those, yes? Yep. Perfect. We have four cards here, we're going to take them and see what you uh, picked. So the first card you pick looks a bit like a four clubs with a giraffe written on it, but if you remember Diana, we have the four of clubs underneath the, underneath the box there. Mm -hmm. So this can't be real, it's called an illusion. Something that looks real but isn't. This one also looks like a four of clubs with a giraffe written on it, but remember that's underneath the box, so that can't be real. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look again. The third one looks like a four of clubs, that's impossible, and that is a downright miracle to have four cards, each looking like uh, your giraffe. Mm -hmm. Now honestly, obviously Diana, we, we can't have all four of these cards be mm -hmm. your, your card. So one of them, they have to be something, and they are sort of similar. You see, we have an ace here, a second ace, a third ace, and a fourth ace. Your card is nowhere amongst any of these four. Mm -hmm. Do you know why your card's not underneath any of these four, Diana? No. Because your card is that one there underneath the box. If I move that here, oh, sorry, that's the, that's the four aces, and that would be your card with the giraffe on it. I'm slightly <laughs> confused. Um, What's that? Mark Little How on Earth. Wow, thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. And quite honestly, I don't know. I became a magician to find out myself. Now, Diana, what I'm going to try and do is... is um, I'm going to try and find your card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and tell you not only... You're not only going to find your card, I'm going to tell you exactly where your card is. Now, the problem with that, Diana, is I'm a magician. No one here trusts me. I can shuffle these cards and have your card stay exactly where I want it, and that is not good. Mm -hmm. So, what I'd like to do... Um, I'm going to put these cards here, and I'd like to pick them up and give them a shuffle. So I'll take the camera, and we'll all watch you shuffle, okay? Okay. We'll all watch you shuffle. There we go. That is fantastic shuffling right there. <laughs> right, okay, so are you happy that there's no way I could know where your card with the giraffe drawn on it is? Yep. Okay, I'm going to try and find your card with the giraffe drawn on it. Your card is precisely... Uh, underneath that box just there. Did you see it, Diana? No. No, you didn't. Right, that would be your card just there. <laughs> yeah, weird, isn't it? Yep. Now, I don't know if you saw me do that. I don't know if anyone on camera saw me do that. Uh, but what a lot of people think I do is, is, is I take the box and I pick it up uh, and I put the card underneath the box like that. I'll be honest, Diana, is that what you thought I did? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see me do it? No. No. Did you see me do it just then? There. Your card put underneath the box. Did you see me do that then? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure that's your card? Yes. Have a look, show everyone. That is not no, my card. No, that's not your card. Your card actually jumps like this. You put it here, you go, 
goes up and it lands underneath the box just there. <laughs> Have a look, please. Pick it up, show, show the camera, make sure everyone knows that that's your card, yes? Yep, that's my card. Perfect. I'll show you one more time. What we're going to do, we're going to put that just in here like this. We're going to put it in and snap. Do you know what happens when you snap? No. That's when every card except yours jumps underneath the box. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, what I'll do, I'll separate your card, right? Okay, I won't even touch your card. I'm going to put those there. What I'd like to do, uh, lift up about half the cards for me, please. Not even going to touch your card. Put them to the side like that. Okay. Would you like me to put your card on top of that pile or that pile? That pile? That pile, right. Take it, uh, put it on there. Perfect, put those back on top. Not even going to touch it. Now, what I'd like to do, I'm going to swap. I'm going to take the pack. You're going to take the box. Put your hand on top of that box for me, please. Mm -hmm. That's it. She really, she really didn't know if to say yes or no. Poor thing, bless her. Uh, I feel, I feel sorry for her too, Mark. She's, she's dating me. So. Right. Um, what I like to do, Diana, I'm, I'm going to try and make your card jump from this pack of cards here mm. underneath that box. Do you think I can do it? Yes. Have a look. Do you think I've done it already? Have a little look underneath the box like that. Uh, uh, okay. No. No, it's not done yet. Okay. Show, show. Watch carefully. I'm going to do this. Did you feel it? No. Have a look, have a look in the box. Yeah, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I actually went one, went one better. Deanna, have a look inside the box for me. <coughs> Take it out. Oops. That would be your card that inside is my card. the box. Now, Deanna, we made the aces appear earlier. Mm -hmm. Or I say we made the aces. You, you found the aces for me earlier. Mm -hmm. Let's do something with them now. Uh, we have uh, spades, clubs, hearts and diamonds. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favourite ace? We'll get rid of the poor giraffe card here. Which one of those is your favourite ace? Clubs. Clubs. Any particular reason clubs? No. Do you want to change your mind? No. Nope. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you said clubs, you could have said diamonds, you could have said hearts, you could have said spades, but you went for clubs. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Let's do something amazing. Did you see it? No. No. Uh, well, you see, the thing is, if you hold the cards this way, they all look the same way around, yes? Mm -hmm. However, if you hold them this way around, it looks like one of them's face down. Mm -hmm. Do you know why that is? Because mm -hmm. one of them's face down. We have spades, we have hearts, we have diamonds, clubs, of course, is face down. Now, remember, you chose and you signed and drew, drew a giraffe on a card earlier today, yes? Yeah. Inside, in sympathy with the aces, there is one card face down. Would you be impressed if that was your card? Yeah. Guys watching on Facebook, would you be impressed if that was Deanna's card? Comments, like, I don't know. <laughs> I was expecting an answer then for some reason. Right, let's have a look. Deanna, I don't even want to touch this. Deanna, take that card, turn it over. That would be the but, club. Yeah. Yeah, put it back on the table, have a look at this card. Because if that's the club there, this card was the club. That would now be your card. Four of clubs with the giraffe written on it. Guys, thank you very, very much. Mark said yes. I'm guessing that means that he was in first, hopefully. Uh, guys, thank you very, very much for joining in. Uh, I have been Alex Foden. Uh, Deanna has been kind enough to handle the camera and join in uh, and be your hands, your eyes, your ears and your nose, I guess, uh, to make sure there's nothing fishy going on. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, I've enjoyed doing it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed doing it as well. That is about all I've got planned, all I've got time for. I've got to now go and send a load of emails because I'm still at university studying for a PhD and there's loads to be doing for that. Um, so have a fantastic, fantastic day. Enjoy tomorrow, enjoy your weekend. I will see you again in about two weeks for some more magic. Um, peace out.